from the campus of East Lake is two-way starter and blue chip recruit Mr. Trey White. Trey, can you hear me? Yes, sir, I can hear you. All right, hey, young man, congratulations on uh, on what is the biggest moment of your young life. We will get to the decision in just a bit, but I just want to personally thank you for honoring your commitment that you've made so many times and sure enough, you're sharing it with your student body and us at the same time. It's greatly appreciated. Yeah, no problem. It's always been a childhood dream for me to commit on PPR, so right now it's just surreal. So I appreciate the opportunity. Uh, you play uh, both ways, but at the next level, I'm assuming just by your body type and your effectiveness, you're going to be on the defensive side of the ball at, at the collegiate level. Will you not be? Yes, sir. It'll be on defense for sure. Um, do you like playing offense? We're, we're showing some highlights of you running the ball. You do it quite effectively. Uh, did, did you ever have dreams of maybe carrying the football at the next level? Um, well, probably when I was younger, I used to play running back. That's what I started off as. And then I just transitioned to defense. And then I just got better at defense. But I'm just an all-around athlete, so I feel like I can, I can do both really good. And you did not become this all-around athlete by accident. When you were on the PPR a few weeks ago, you discussed your workout regime. We're going to show some video of it. You are... Uh, you get up at 4.30 in the morning, do you not? Yes, sir. Tell us about that day. So I wake up at 4.30, and then um, I go to our local gym uh, at 5.15. Then the workout ends around 6. Then I come back home, and then I uh, get ready for school. Then I got to go find parking and then just get through the school day and then practice, and then I just come home and go to sleep. <laughs> So it's a pretty full day, and consequently, suddenly college offers start rolling in. So the hard work did pay off, did it not? Right, it definitely did, for sure. All right, so let's talk. We have a graphic, I believe, of your final six schools. Uh, we're, we're showing uh, your offers from like 14 different schools, but you whittled it down mm -hmm. to the six that are on the screen right now. What were you looking for in a college education? Um, in a college education, I definitely wanted a school that had my major and then um, also something that really takes academics seriously where I can get a great education and then also the football aspect, definitely having a, a winning program, a great coaching staff and just all around brotherhood for the team. All right. Uh, you, you know, a young kid like you who's got his head on his shoulders doesn't happen by accident. Some of the people that are responsible for that are sitting with you. Now, I might have to ask my questions through you. I don't know if they can hear me, but does your, can dad hear me? Joe, can you hear me? Yes, my dad can hear you. All right, uh, hand yeah. him the mic. Joe, uh, can you express the pride you're feeling in your son right now? Well, I'm extremely proud of Trey because this has been a lifelong dream of his. He's always aspired to achieve a D1 scholarship, and it's just such a, like he said earlier, such a surreal moment to be sitting next to him knowing that he's punched off another one of his dreams. And, it, and it, can mom hear me? No, we can, just, we can repeat the question. Okay, mom, sure. mom, tell us the pride you're feeling, and just describe what, what's going through your head right now as, uh, as your young son is about to make his big decision. He said, describe what's going through your head right now as I'm about to make my decision. Like Joe said, it's very surreal. Um, just very proud of Trey, anything he strives to do. He, he seems to do it even when people have doubted him in the past. He's proven them wrong, and Trey doesn't take these decisions lightly. He's thought and prayed about it for months and lots of discussions, so nice to see it finally come out with all his friends and family and, and teammates here, coaches. Very cool. And then is your position coach there? Oh, uh, yes, he is. He. Okay, ask Coach uh, to describe you as a football player. He said, describe me as a football player. <laughs> describe Trey White as a football player. Uh, he's a man amongst boys out there playing. And uh, he just gives it his all and plays hard and leaves everything out there on the field. Uh, he's a great teammate to his, 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 his teammates, and he's a leader, a man amongst boys, Trey White. <laughs> All right, well, uh, Trey, we are getting towards the moment. Just a note to the production team, hold off on the uh, school video until, uh, until we get Trey's reaction. But Trey, uh, would you like to look into the camera and 
Tell, tell people where you'll be playing football on Saturdays. <clears throat> uh, for the next three to four years, I'll be furthering my academic and football career at... Get this on. How bad? San Diego State University. <laughs> Uh, Trey, you still got that mic on, or are you still, you still using? Oh yeah, it's right here. Okay, uh, Trey, it. you are the second athlete in 24 hours, a prominent athlete, to commit to the school on the Mesa. You just made Brady Hoke very happy. He, he's a defensive guy. Uh, expl explain why you want to stay close to home. Um, I wanted to stay close to home, most importantly for my family, so they'd be able to watch some of my games and also my friends. And also, I just really love the coaching staff. I felt a really good vibe from them when I went on the visit there. And just the, the level of football they're playing right now, uh, ranked top 25 in the nation for football. And they just got a championship mindset, and that's exactly what I was looking for. And the beautiful thing is you still can get your laundry done. Oh, yeah. Go home anytime I want. <laughs> <laughs> all, right, all right. And, and just quickly, uh, you know, I, I can't help but notice, Trey, that this is becoming a very popular decision now in the county. More and more local kids are staying at San Diego State. You, you're just amplifying that trend. You're going to have a lot of friends on the team already, will you not? Yes, sir. How could you not stay in beautiful San Diego and new stadium as well coming soon, 2022? So I'm very excited about that. Well, Trey, I, I know you made a lot of San Diego sports fans very happy, and that immediately means you're going to have a lot of people rooting for you. I, I, I wish you a lot of luck. And, hey, I can't say uh, enough about your uh, – you, you said from day one that you were going to do this, and it, it means a ton to everybody here at Good Morning San Diego and the Prep Picks Report. Thank you for honoring your commitment, young man. Yeah, most definitely. It's always been a dream, like I said, and I just appreciate you allowing me to um, show my commitment on PPR. It really means a lot. No worries. And don't forget, November 30th, you're going to, I don't know what award you'll be up for, but you're going to be up for an award uh, at the Silver Picks and Gala. So we'll, you and I will be able to chat then, okay? Yes, sir. I'll be there. All right, a big thank you to Joaquin Duncan, our KUSI sports photographer who got up early and put that all together. And a big thank you to the East Lake High School community who uh, made uh, that opportunity available to us to share it live with you all. How cool is that? Trey White is going to stay here close to home and play on the Mesa for Brady Hoke and the Aztecs.